Erica, Alex. Steve. Everybody's got this. Ooh, take a picture of that. Huh? <laughs> You got it? We got a slate. Yeah. I'll, I'll turn around slate. for hours. Should feel real, right? Shit <laughs> like <laughs> that. means it wasn't real before. Yeah, every time I say something, this nigga laugh. He got the, he can hear me. You got the app balls, right? Yeah. This nigga okay. dying laughing you know, like. You're ready, Gustavo. I'm ready. Good. Everybody's rolling? All right. All right, call it in, Has. Ready? Three, two, one. You're on here. What a good be helping people to see me. It's your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Drink Champs, the new happy hour in the Woo! new happy hour studio. Make some noise! I gotta give me that. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. nah hold up. <laughs> okay. We gotta run that again and then gotta end up with me. Because I've been on Drink Champs so much, <laughs> I tell people, like, I'm thinking I'm an assistant host. Okay, on let's this do it. Month. You ready? All right. Yo. What a good be, it's your boy N-O-R-E. What up, it's DJ EFN. What up, it's your boy Joe Crack the Dawn. And, and this is Jim Chap. Make some fucking noise. That was good today. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Fat Joe, I went to New York the other day and I seen Sean Pecos. Did you ever see his cigar collection? He's like a beast with cigars. I'm offering you a cigar because it is your birthday. No, Let's I make do. some noise for Fat Joe's birthday. Oh. You know, you know you're my, my, my. I don't, I'm only, I only drink cigars when I'm pissy drunk. Don't, I'm gonna drink. Save it, drink a cigar. Save it for the party. <laughs> don't drink a cigar. Save it for the party. That's when I smoke the cigar okay, when I feel like I'm that nigga. Okay. I can't just smoke one. Sean Pecas is a fraud. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Sean Pecas is a fraud. Yeah, Diego, shut up. Let me tell shut you up, something. Diego, Let me tell you something. This guy. If you don't know, we destroyed him because he was cheating me with the wine. I said mm. it on your show. Mm -hmm. So he said, yo, you went on the number one show. <laughs> you told niggas my gimmick. Right. You pay half and half the bill, but right. I really drink the wine. Right. That's why he gave you the, the cigar <laughs> so we could talk nice about it. <laughs> Sean Beckers, you fucking nigga. He didn't give me these cigars, but that day... Uh. At, at, um, June Long, big up uh, CC Baskin, big up to uh, Camilo Anthony. Uh, we we um, got to hang out with them that night. It was, it was fun, man. But um, Joe, you got this new single out right now. Yes, sir. It sounds uh, 1990 now, like meaning like Ooh. it sounds got that old school, you know, with, with, the, with the vibe to it, like, you know, like, like the that then, Tina but Turner. It's, it's now, yeah. but it's now. Like wh what made you just keep going? And, and it's with Dre again. Yeah, well, you know, I got a project with Dre. Mm. And, cool and uh, Dre, just for cool and Dre, right. But Dre of Cool and Dre. And by the way, I don't have it on right now, but Cool and Dre and yesterday they brought me a sky dweller. Let's make some noise for Cool and Dre. I ain't gonna lie. I, I saw that and I looked at my friends and I said, I gotta step my friends up. Nah, nah, it took me 20 <laughs> years to get dweller? one. Hey, it took me like 20 years to get one. I'm not gonna lie, you gave me fuck, a tongue hey, finger. <laughs> fuck the watch. When they gave me the watch, I was like, these niggas rich. Right, They're right, rich. Right. Right. Nah, but it, it felt so good, man, that my brothers gave me the, the sky dweller, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, man, that's such a beautiful thing. What are yeah. you drinking, E? Yo, um, um, you um, can you open up some wine for you me? You got wine right there? Oh, no, let, let, let that one chill. That one felt like it was chilled more. You, you ain't gonna fuck it up by opening up one. This one's better? Okay, cool. You know, you gotta have. You don't have, have to disrespect my ice, though, man. Is, <laughs> so, are you set up yet, Diego? Let, let us know, B. Well, let us know, man. Come on, man. Nah? Oh, you want champagne? You gotta have a glass of champagne. I have a glass of champagne. champagne. Oh, you're not, but I'm working hard today. You're not no, no, drinking no. like you did last year? No, I'm not gonna drink no. like that because. Um, you went in. You went in Sunday's last year. Sunday's my birthday party. And I'm a yes. pissy drunk. And I got my flight no, no. already. I'm flying up just for your party. Too much pissy drunk. Right. Like, you know, I'm with, on my birthday and New Year's, I'm drunk. Mm. There's you no way around it. Like, I'm, okay, I don't do actually be trying to stop myself from getting drunk too fast. Mm. You know, because the party starts at 8. So I'm like, damn, Joe, don't be drunk. Don't be drunk by 9.30. Right. You're gonna miss everything. Well, if you hang out with this guy. No, no, no. Well, that no, guy no. got me drunk at 12 noon. <laughs> but that's a different but type of guy. get drunk at 6 in the morning. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hold on, hold on, hold on. And we black too. We black too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We black too. Happy birthday! We ain't Latino one yet. Happy birthday, happy birthday happy to you. Birthday. Hold up. And then we also and now, Spanish. Hold up. We also Spanish. I'm going to tell you this story. Let's no, no. let's go. I'm going to tell no. you. Rest in peace, my girl, my man, Miguel oh, Cartagena. Oh. Uh -huh. Shots fired. 
He was a homeless dude. Oh, he wow. would live around Forest Projects, and we would oh, wow. find him. We'll go find him on the roof. Wow. We'll find him wherever he was sleeping, and we pay him $5. The nigga come to the party. He don't even know who birthday it is, and he start crying and shit. No, he'd be like, and then we'd be like, yo, Miguel, come on. He goes, cumpleaños, <laughs> So rest in peace, Miguel Cartagena. Okay, but we gotta sing this Spanish version. Come on, let's go. Yeah, man. I don't sing it the way you sing it. Right. Yeah. How you sing it? Damn. <laughs> you got a lot of Spanish niggas here. So in case you didn't know, <laughs> Puerto Rican, Cuba, Colombia. In case you didn't know, no, um, uh, Fat Joe, um, you know my cousin. It's also his birthday. Let's big him up. Carlito! Papi swing, que pasa, papi? Yeah, where's his cup? Where's his cup? Where's his cup? And um, where's his cup at? And it's also uh, Mr. Lee's birthday. Yeah. It's a Latino so, birthday, so right? Here. I can't believe I see Mr. Lee working. Yeah. Passing <laughs> cups and shit like that. I'm like, damn. I usually see that nigga chilling. Yo, yo, I, I, really I want to show you what's happened to my cousin right now. Oh, my God. Oh, Cocaine this Chronicles. Is, this is what this is what this is this is what happens. Is it is, do we got a, a roaming hold on, camera? Hold on, hold on. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> no my perico. <laughs> perico bing bing. No my perico. <laughs> perico bing bing. <laughs> yeah. Listen, for the people who want to vote, I'm gonna send y'all this video so you can put this up there. My cousin has been cocained out. No way. He is, he is, they have transferred him to the cocaine crew. No, we got to stop him. <laughs> you got to stop him. <laughs> yo, Bobby, you don't come back from that. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> he, you don't want that Hector Camacho he, flow. He was I'm doing it in the islands, man. Come on. He got what that shit on the sounds? islands. Yeah, yeah and what has it sound? You know our engineer. Yo, oh, let me give you oh, I got some. I got oh, some. Right. You, it, was on, it wasn't a full class. It wasn't a full class. I'm not going. But you know our engineer. I have to drive. Uncle Dan know, don't know no shit in Miami. You, you know our engineer. He did drive. I didn't see him. I got to drive. Listen, listen. You know our engineer, um, uh, we did a whole episode with Ron Artest, and our engineer was so high of cocaine. <laughs> there's, no, there's no audio. This guy? Yeah, hazardous sound. Yo, these niggas sniffing cocaine. Yeah, yeah. He turned hey, yo, but what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is Miami, man. No way. This is where you live at, bro. They think no. it's the 80s right now. Yo, yeah. puppy, stop. They got it right <laughs> They like it, the Miami Vice. Niggas, please. So, Benny go be me. He's like, yo! <laughs> so, Joe. Does it work? Hip hop has been very interested these past couple of months. Yeah. So many albums is dropping, so many places, things up taking place. So much antics, there's so much things going on. What, what, what has been your most surprising moment of these past couple of months? Whoever's back there, yo, relax. My most surprising moment of these months, um, I don't know, I think we got, I think this, for real hip hop. Mm -hmm. this what do you is, consider real hip hop? Let's just define I, that. Damn, why you trying to do that, EFN? Okay. You know what I mean no, by hip hop, no, real hip hop. I mean, you know, Lyrics, boom the kind back. of music we listen to. Right, okay. Not just camera. boom back, it could be the new, but the kind content. of music we love, lyrical right. content. It's been a hell of a year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nori's album's been amazing. Yeah. Five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Represent it. I'm so proud of him. No, no, no. Like, no, I was, like, I listened to the album 12 Midnight. Like, wow. I, I, that's the new shit. Wow. So 12 Midnight, I'm listening to your album. I'm mm. blasting it. Mm. Um, you know your wife think the record about her. Is the record about her? Mm -hmm. I go everywhere with her. Yeah. I see her. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. fucking shit up for other niggas. For other niggas? That's yeah, right. you made okay. a Bring record. Bring your girl everywhere. I be with her. Bring your girl I'm everywhere. I'm with her everywhere. That's right. <laughs> Yo, my daughter was singing that shit. Oh, that's Yo, beautiful. No, he wrote Tory this Lane. for his wife. That's right. That's right, man. I mean, um, um, go ahead. So how you feel about the success of the album, bro? Uh, I just, I, I actually, I haven't even uh, paid attention to any, like, success about it. I just wanted to, um, you know, make a body of work and throw it out there. I got a chance to do it. I got a chance to uh, get with Master Pill in um, Bahamas, and they, you know, they rented a big studio in there out there. You know, I think they're doing a compilation or something it's like that. Was a Master Pill retreat? Uh, I believe like something like that. It's, you know, record labels ain't do that in so long. Nah, that's what I'm saying. It's ill. Uh, I remember, you know, recording for the Firm album. They would, you know, take us to Bearsville or they'll fly us to like Miami when Miami was like that place to be. <laughs> so like, you know what I'm saying? Like before it's recorded. And for, for, you know, to see it come to fruition. But um, 
Me, period. I just like I just like the competitiveness. I just like that. This what's going on. Everyone is on. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you, Joe. It's been so much good material. I think, like nine, I think I'll be, I think at least seventy percent of it has been overlooked. No, because it's too much. No, I think I think we we I think this has been an amazing year, bro. It does, it does. Vice mm. versa for everybody, man. Mm. I mean, like you could tell, you know, when I went to your album release party. Mm. Legendary. That's the first time in so many years. We used to do it like that. Mm -hmm. But people are so proud of what's going on in the hip hop scene mm -hmm. where you got Nas, you got Raekwon, you right. got the Mike Songs, you got AZ, My you got song, Buck Wow, Mano. you got yep. Mano, you got. Fat Joe. Yo, Fat Joe, you got everybody. Fab, it was all in my album with Loose Party, by the way. Fat Joe. Yes, yes, yes. I turned New right. York City up. Come on. Y'all got to clap more, motherfuckers. Come on. Come on. Okay. And that, and that's just that that's where the state of hip hop is right, right. now. Mm. I'm loving with hip hop. This this is the happiest I've been in a long time about mm. hip hop. Mm. In a long time, not the happiest ever, right. but this is the happiest I've been in a long time about hip hop. You know, mm. I I can't get over the Pusha T album. Right. Yeah. I still love the Drake album. Right. I still yo everything. I mean, you know, every it's been a lot of hot albums, right. man. A lot of hot albums drop. It's still the old drink chance behind Still the old drink chance, man. No, it's going to always be the I drink chance. I knew Sonny. I swear to God, when I felt something fall, I said, Sonny got to be around there. Sonny so was, Sonny, was eating a bottle. Yo, my dude. Sonny was eating a bottle. Yo, my dude. Sonny's still sweating <laughs> profusely over yeah, there. Yeah, Sonny, Sonny's... Yo, when, as soon as I seen Sonny eat the oyster shell, oh, man. that's the first time. That's some big pun shit. Wow. Big Pun would have did that fucking with us. Like, get, get out of here. You know, yeah, he would have, you know, Pun was crazy. He would mm. open the bottles like that and all that no, shit. No, I've really seen Pun eat pork chops and applesauce. Like, I, I, I've never pork thought chops that and was. Applesauce. Yeah, I never thought that nah, was a thing. He did it for you. Yeah, I never <laughs> thought that was a thing. Like, because like, he said it on the round. Pork chops and applesauce. And I was like, I, I didn't know that was a thing. And everybody was like, oh, that, everybody eats pork chops and you applesauce. You know, Big Pun's an icon. Mm, of course he is. Absolutely. Let's make some noise for fucking no, no. Big Pun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It's, a, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing because mm. now I look back, I sit back and I get to reflect back. We've been in this game over 20 years mm. and I'm like, whoa, like we really brought a motherfucking top five icon in this wow. bitch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people consider him top five. You know what I'm saying? Some people consider him number, number one. one. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying to you is like, we, you know, we really was with him. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, beautiful thing. So now, you now know, that watch you have on, is that a half a million? That's a cool that's, million. That's a straight million. What a dollars. segue. Because that watch <laughs> I'll is, let you, your watch I'll is let just you smacking tell me. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's called a royal It's way out of my I don't want to say it, man. <laughs> these people, you have I don't to. I ain't going to lie. You, you, you get, you're living lives. It's over a million, man. Over a million. Let's make some noise for that. Guy. <laughs> Damn it. Look, look, certain niggas didn't even clap. Niggas was like, what? You got a fan? Like, this shit not, been through the Harlem, through not the no, Bronx, through Queens. It's not no normal shit. Through man, every, nah, it ain't normal, but you know what? I seen you had it. Did I see 50 Cent when and got it after that? He went and got it. I seen that after that. But you know, it's like, since I was 14, I've been hustling on the mm. streets just to get fly. You mm. know what I'm saying? To me, success is being fly every day, wearing whatever we want, mm. smelling how we want, eating like we want. Mm. And um, I ain't gonna let nobody deter that. Mm. I ain't let nobody deter that when the fucking, when I got caught for the taxes. Mm. I remember my fucking accountant came and the first thing he did was look at my house on the water. He was like, oh no, you got to get out of here. I said, no, you got to get the fuck out of <laughs> my house, nigga. Wow. I ain't moving. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas, you know, you get these accountants and they try to make you cut back and all right. that. I'm like, Hey man, I've been rich, I've been broke, I've been rich, I've been broke, I've been rich, I've been broke. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? As long as we eating, we living, we living good. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care, man. I, I love being fly. That's just the bottom line, man. Oh man, god damn it, man. Let's make some noise <laughs> for that. <God> damn it. <laughs> now, 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 is your favorite part of the game? Because it, it feels like, it feels like you're kind of more comfortable dropping singles on the here and there tip, like. And because you No, nah, it's just that's the all right. What happens is we just gotta adapt to to what's going on now. Uh -huh. I've always been a hustler businessman. I'm gonna do what's better for the money, right? Mm. But at the end of the day, I love putting out albums and bodies of work. Like mm. if albums were still selling hundred thousand first week and all that shit, mm. we all would have been rushing to do albums. But right. the truth is, you put out a single, like, do you know? All the way up won't stop. Right. 
Right. Like, it, like it won't keep selling right. and the streaming. So I don't think people have gathered the thought of streaming. Right. Streaming is open 24 hours a day. While we sleeping, somebody's playing it and we making money. It, it's and then it'll keep going. Right. It ain't about first week sales no more with streams. Right. Right. It's about niggas. Keep, keep listening going. to him. And God forbid something happens. That goes viral. Yeah. Yeah. That goes viral and yeah. niggas just keep streaming and streaming and streaming. And before you know it, mm. you, 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 like, Plata Plomo, it made me so much money. Like, right. I don't, it just keep making money. Right. Thank God for Gazi, who you introduced me to Empire, Empire. Empire. Mo Landry, you know, yeah. then it, you know, he changed my life with the streaming game. Wow. So, you know, it, it, you know, I love making albums. With Dre, our album, we two songs away. Right. Two songs away from a classic. Right. Two songs away. Like this shit is really, last time you heard it, it ain't even, this shit is really becoming ridiculous. Right. And it's because the state of hip hop. Mm -hmm. Your album being fi fire. Right. Right. Nas album being fire. Yeah, albums made Pusha a comeback. T shit it being seems like fire. albums made a comeback. You know, all these uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce album, all them shits being fire made us look at our shit and be like, yo, our shit got to be super fire. And that's where the game's at right now. As, you know, as, as much as success as we got, right, like us, I think everyone has a little bit of pettiness still, right? Of course. Do you think Jay-Z dropped his album on the same day as Nas on purpose? Like, um, I mean, this is just industry insider shit that we were hearing. Like, it's you don't no, know, no, no you're just saying that. This yeah, is right. no fact Drunk this. facts, not this even. This is no facts. No I facts. Mean, oh, this is the no facts It's section. weird that okay. it dropped the same day. Let's like, right. just give it that. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a, Right. It's a it's an ill coincidence, you know what I'm saying? But Ill coincidence. maybe no they one, still, but they friends. I see them at the Grammys right. together, everywhere together. What's, what's um Beyonce's um tribe? Um the Beehive. Beehive. Yeah. No one can fuck with the Beehive. And like, that, no that album's one. together, right? That, that's a joint yeah. album. Yeah. So it's, I mean, listen, it's kind my of dude, you, you want to see what the Beehive is? You just go say something about Beyonce. Right. And oh my God, they come. They'll, be, they'll be talking about your mother's 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 <laughs> mother. You know, I was like, looking at crazy. They're crazy. You know, I was I was like. I was looking at um nah. Looking at the front door? Nah, I wasn't looking at the front door. Okay. I was like, all right, let me let me just subliminally say mm. um the big artists performed mm. at MTV Awards. This year? And mm. this year. And they damn, used dog. damn. <laughs> the remix. <laughs> nah, but now nah, yo, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the four. Give me the single. I don't want the album. He said you're not so fat no more, Joe. Give me the single. Yo, Lee, give me the single. I don't want the album. Come on, Bobby Dog. He said you're not fat no more, Joe. So anyway, I seen a, 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 a big artist perform that got like an army, right? But I seen them perform and the army was there and they was all like, um, okay. uh, the gay and lesbian community. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that was I their army you're saying? I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't believe that. I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow. So all, all, all these people who've been telling me to suck their dick and all this wild <laughs> shit on the Instagram, I'm like, yo, these niggas is, you know, it's crazy, my nigga. So, you know, who knows who's crowd or whatever, every, who's the beehives? Yeah, they, they crazy. Like, you don't want no smoke with them. Well, we caught smoke. We with, caught. With beehive? No, I caught a lot of smoke when we, when we did that last drink chaps about, uh, a oh. reggae tone. Oh, we never, we never, oh. we never settled that. We never. That was crazy. Because we addressed it, but it was on our, you know, it was. Because this is the first time Joe's gonna be on the revolt. Revolt, yes. That's yeah. crazy. Yes, it's many crazy. Times many times, times we did drink chairs. This is the first you time know, we, the, we got slates the... and shit, and white people working for us. Let's make some noise for us, goddamn it! Big... Look at that. We got slates, <laughs> slates and white folks, goddamn it! Yeah, shit is real, man. I don't hey, know. I don't you know. No, revolt. No, they want to get kicked out, man. We go. But he been, you've been on every stage. You've been on just audio. Yeah. Then you've been on YouTube with us, and yeah. now you now you see. But it to I the don't know if Revolt know that I'm the biggest nigga in the game. Uh, so right. it's just congratulations to you to have me on. That's your right. Shit. God damn it. Uh, God you know damn. what I'm saying? God damn. Then put me in the no frills section. So so I this year be, I want to describe your party because when you told me I my said my party. You listen. Let me just tell you. Are you gonna clear up the reggaeton thing? Or oh no, no damn. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot because we was clapping hands. <laughs> Holy moly guacamole. So we had to clear that up, right? Mm. So now what happened exactly? We got on. What you say? You say you received slack, right? Because you. I mean, we talked about, you know, right. <laughs> we did. Mm. We, we, we gonna do this again? No, we have to because it's, this is on the yeah, big platform. Kinda, yeah, yeah. This is. This we'll so do it briefly. Just do it briefly. So what happened was we talked about Daddy Yankee coming up in the Bronx. Right. And, 
and always telling me, you know, you are the leader right. or whatever the case may be. And you then, the you know, I was happy for him. And then uh -huh. long story short, I told a story about how when he blew up, he, he broke my heart. I was so happy for him. Uh -huh. That when I seen him at a reggaeton show that I was with Nori, mm -hmm. the nigga act like he ain't know me. He was like, and and I was like, wow, this nigga could be a little bit more more um. more loyal. But at the same time, I try to give him street credibility right. and say, yo, that nigga used to be in the streets. Now Jay Z said he hustled. Fifty Cent said he hustled. Even fucking Pit Bull said he hustled. Right. Fat Joe don't hustle. Nori. Right. So I was trying, like, not trying to play because him. there's not a lot of people who can co-sign that these people hustle. I was trying to you give him trying to credibility, like, yeah, yeah, credibility, and then you know they ran with the only yeah. thing they could say is like, yo, yeah. Fat Joe's rat and this yeah. and that exactly. about some nigga in the street 20 years ago. To right. me, if you a rat, you put niggas in jail. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. Podcast, um, I guess man. they ain't understand the podcast and the culture. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All right. All right. No, we leave them alone. <laughs> the <laughs> Elliot Wilson train? Yeah, that's what it used to be. It used to be. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It used to be the Elliot uh, Wilson train. But sorry, Elliot. Listen, listen, listen. We, we squashed it. That's classic, We're good. though. That's it's classic. classic that's though. Classic. We're so, back in the same spot. So yeah. his fans, uh -huh. well, I don't know who the fuck they are. You know, they, they call me 10,000 Mama Bichos. It was right. bad, man. Right. It was, right. It was, right. It was right. Mama Bicho, Chapo, Chota, Maricon Puñeta. This right. niggas was going hard on my shit. But let's you know be clear. Saying? So, like, that, if, if the average artist would, would see that and see these kind of, like, threats or something like that and would say, you know what, I'll, I'll chill. Well, you had to do a movie, uh, a, a series of, on Netflix. She's got to have it, part two, mm -hmm. correct? And one of the first things I seen is when you land, you landed in the craziest hood in Puerto Rico. They, they literally tell you, do not go to this hood, even to other Puerto Ricans. Yeah. What made you feel that need to, 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 to go? I there? didn't need to. It's just that's that's. I felt it. like you needed to. I mean, I you know, felt like that. I, I like didn't know. I went to, to the Lions. It was a I statement. Did, it was a like statement. Like if somebody want to hurt me, you might as well come to La Bella and hurt me, nigga. Right. Like right. I'm in the back part. Like right. I'm under La yeah, Bella. Yeah, by the I'm pool. Not, I'm not in the front smiling in right. the welcome right. to La Bella sign. Right. Right. I'm in the rocks mm -hmm. with fucking uh, Hector Labo was shooting the dope in El Cantante movie, that's nigga. Hard, I'm up, nigga. I'm that's up hard, in there, nigga. like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Carlito, you better stay out of there. there stay, <laughs> cocaine, no. <laughs> cocaine, no. Perico Pipi, no. <laughs> Yo, so you out there again. So I'm out there and they showing me nothing but love. I don't, okay. I don't even know what to tell you. Everywhere I went is nothing but love. Fat Joe, you know, right. Puerto Ricans love Fat Joe. Like, right. I don't know what niggas was thinking. Right. But so I'm thinking maybe it was like the Barb's or the like Beehive's. Like a media, media yeah. frenzy too. You know, those niggas. Yeah, yeah. Right. Those, those niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right, because, um, but did you expect like any, to, to get any like phone calls or any like, did you expect it or did you, you expect, Exactly the love you got, you you, you expected that. Because I remember one time you was even If you want alive. me to keep it real with yeah, you. keep it real, please. We need oh, this. Oh, we, we were super strapped out there. What? Like, just in case a nigga what? wanted to play funny. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. whole job is always coming home. I used mm -hmm. to be in L.A. with the East Coast, West Coast beef. Right. Super strapped. Like, right. I don't play with these people. I got to get home. I got three kids. I got right. a wife. I got a family. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm coming home. So if that right. means giving it to everybody... We giving it to everybody. We coming home. Right, got That's just the bottom line. And so, and so for the record, it's no beef with like Puerto Rico, no beef with beef reggaeton. Beef with Puerto Rico. No, I'm just saying, you know, because you know how, you know how, just this way. So no beef with Puerto Rico, no beef with reggaeton. I love it Puerto Rico. I love, just, I worship Puerto Rico. My grandmother, my grandfather from Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto right. Rican and Cuban. Right. You got to understand, man, right. like, I don't even know. Is there beef? Like, there no, is no beef. I don't nah, think it is. I think it was a misunderstanding. I no, think it was, it was the media that took it and ran with it. Like, yeah. the Latin media. Yeah, it was. It, was, it, it did great for us. Yeah, because it, it took yeah, us number one rating. Right. <laughs> no, no, it wonderful. took you in that chapter. Yeah, I think it, it, it helped a little like, bit. Like, we had, we had uh, Telemundo. We were in Espanol now. Telemundo it picked us up. <laughs> Shit was real. Like, I Yo, was like, holy moly. let me tell you something, man. I went to a Spanish barbershop randomly. Just walked in and was like, ah, oh, shit, I'm not sure I should get my hair cut here. <laughs> I, I just walked out, I'm going to tell, you what, happened about I'm gonna real tell real you, I'm you what happened to me. I don't know if I told you this story before. I might have. Okay. It's famous. You know I used to be scared to fly. Yes. So it wasn't to 10 years after that I ever went and did a show. It wasn't to lean back of my career that I went to Puerto Rico to do a show. Uh -huh. And when I went to Puerto Rico and did a show, I went on the radio to do my first interview, and do you know what the first question they asked me? They said, yo, do you think you black? This is the first question Puerto Rico asked me. Wow. 
You know what the first question Even when I went to Puerto Rico radio, they asked me? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what the first no, question? I'm, I'm going to give it right back well, to you. I was like you know what amazing the first to me. me and I told the nigga. Was yeah. no pay, no play. It wasn't no even pay, a question. No play. <laughs> it was a statement. No pay, no play, baba. OK, Coyote. That's what they said. Coyote, right? That was his name, Calito? Nah, stop. Oh, stop. He's going to say we oh, snitching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nah, but that was the first question. I was, I was, I was hurt. Right. Know what I'm saying? So I told them, you know, they said, nah, because we see you always with the black people and this and that. I had the same problem when I was in jail. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? The, the, you know, the first day this nigga came up in my cell, because they in the feds, you can't get commissary. So I don't give a fuck who you is. I walked in the feds with five G's cash in my pocket, but you couldn't get it for two weeks. I don't care if you Bernie Madoff. Right. So there's a line of niggas giving you two bananas, cereal, yeah. a cup, if niggas got love for you. The whole line, say there was 15 people outside my cell, 12 was black, three was Hispanic, mm. right? So then some Spanish nigga, the leader of the Puerto Ricans, he comes over and um, I, I started calling that nigga Super Boricua, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. So the nigga come up in my cell, that's a violation anyway for him coming up. He got these holes in his face, so you know he's a bad guy, you can mm. tell, right? Mm. So, nah, nah, but, mm. so he tells me, oh yeah, fuck, because for some reason they can't say fuck, Joe. They always just say fuck. Oh yeah, fuck. No T. No T. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, right? <laughs> so then come in, yo. So long story short, he's like, yo, I see all the black dudes with you, and I know you from New York, and the Puerto Ricans from New York, but over here, we stick to our own. And, and you talking about Miami? In Miami okay, jail, yes. right? So he was the leader of the Puerto Ricans in the Miami jail, or whatever. Mm. So I'm listening to this nigga. I cannot believe what he's saying to me, right? So then he, he actually calls all the Puerto Ricans his son. He's like, so me, he he did this. So I sit down and I say, yo, papi, let me explain something to you. The first thing you need to do is call and your you're cousins. You're saying this in English or, or Spanish? Spanish. Okay. Papi, el primer cosa que tú tienes que hacer uh -huh. es llamar tu primo de Nueva York a decirte que yo no soy rapero, papá. That's yeah. number one. Yeah. Let your cousins <laughs> in New York tell you I'm not a rapper. Yeah. Number two is I've been running niggas so long that I would have to give you a premio on the West or a Grammy for me to come in here for four months and you run me. Like, it would be the biggest thing in America. Yo, 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 this is my first 20 minutes in jail. I'm like, this would be like the Grammys. Like, you would be the illest nigga I've ever seen on earth. Like, yes, you. The nigga look at me, he start laughing. He was like, yo, but just know the Boricuas ain't with you in here. I'm like, I right then, my nigga, I came right. in here dolo anyway. Right. So, you know, that's just always been my, my, so the same thing with the radio in Puerto Rico. They was like, you know, and I was like, yo, B, I represent Puerto Rico in Africa, Brazil, all over the world. Here's one thing, at one time, the reggaeton movement was just in Puerto Rico, right. a little bit in New York and Orlando. That's when they asked me the question. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I'm waving that Puerto Rican flag across the world. And for the record, I helped it. And when you said you discovered Daddy Yankee, we was playing around. If they actually yeah, looked, right. as you said, you said, did you discover Daddy Yankee? And I said, he ain't called me since. Well, you was the first person to put him I on was the a first hit in America. That was BET, a big part of his career. BET, Hot Huge 97, spot. MTV. And now I can look at MTV and he's on there. And he's performing, and he's with Janet Jackson. It's a different Jackson. time. It's a beautiful time. I, no, I no, he's out of here. He's out of here. He's out of here. No, 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 no. It's a different time. Yes. So what happens is, let's be clear about what's going on. They talked about this 20 years ago. Right. We just ain't believe it, and now it's the time. Yes. Latinos have become the That's dominant right. demographic That's in right. America. That's right. So when you listen to Hot 97 or you yep. listen to straight black stations and they playing reggae That's song, Pacito. they playing that record. Yep. It ain't just because. They want to play the record. Right. It's just they got mad Latinos requesting it. This, listen, right now it's merging. You like it like that. Number one hit in America. You got reggaeton and English rapping on the same song. It's the right. time. Well, one of the first records. It's the time. English it ain't no and, ill and shit. Together. It's what it is. Was Oye Mikando, God damn it. I don't give a fuck. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. God damn it. I'm taking that. Tell you something, that, you was ahead of your time. I, I believe so. I believe. Uh, who was I that? I was ahead Carlito, of your time. Um, not Jay. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Jay Alvarez. Yeah. Jay Alvarez said, "Yo, you was so ahead of your time, bro. You know what I mean? You was way ahead of your yeah. time. We was ahead of our time. Right. Everybody, right. see, when we was playing the game, 
Your right. watch is definitely ahead of the Hold time. Hold up. God damn, your, watch is your, watch, your watch is smacking Yo, niggas in the I face right now. I know what the now. fuck I'm your talking watch is about. Your watch is real. Fuck that. Nigga suck my dick. You gotta listen. Yo, 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 Nori. I know what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to tell you is that we was ahead of our time, the whole hip hop community. Mm. So say Magic Johnson, mm. he broke a record mm. when he got $1 million for playing one, one year, $1 million in the Lakers, the biggest shit you ever heard. Wow. Now you got niggas making 250 million. Mm. So at that time, we was breaking doors for these niggas to come get them 200, Thousand two fifty, hundred fifty thousand. When we was getting five hundred at Roomba right. and doing three shows in one night, trying to make fifteen hundred, right. we was opening the doors. We was ahead of our time. Right. That's why the the, the 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 climate is the way it is. That's why we kept fighting and holding out because we want a piece of that two fifty. We were, we you owe us restitution. This is like right. forty acres in a mule. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? We paved the door. Most of the niggas who paved the door, the co when Jay-Z say, uh, the cold crush paying dues to the cold crush, mm. they ain't get to see this money. Mm. We seeing this money. Mm. We still here doing what we got to do. And, um, but we open the door for everybody. Right. Don't get that fucked up ever yeah. in your life. So, um, you know, this is what we do with, you know, guests that have been on the show. Uh, uh, um, alumni. Uh, alumni. We're gonna ask you just random. I'm the first nigga ever in drink chance. That's right, goddamn it. Make some fucking noise for that. God damn it. God damn it. But listen, I just wanna ask you like random, random stuff that's happening in the hip hop. Right now, um First hip hop Puerto Rican parade. You could blow one of these. I brought hip hop to the Puerto Rican parade. Woo! Can you God damn it? God damn it. Fat Joe Big Pump first rappers to bring a boxer in the ring. Felix Trinidad against De La Hoya. Wow. Against Della Hoya. And, 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 you got your own fat joke. Come on. Your boy. <laughs> Damn, my ears is fucking. This shit like worked more on my own. Yeah, yeah, let's just chill. No, no, let's just chill. So, damn, you fucked me up now. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. No one remembers? <laughs> Jesus, you, you never bring... got to say it. I kept fucking stopping you. You're gonna bring up hip hop huh? topics. Oh, hip hop topics. So, right now, um, Kodak Black. The young homie. He's out, right? Is he out? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's crazy. Um, 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 Kodak Black just came home, right? Mm -hmm. Young, energetic dude. I like him. I love what he represents. And there's rumors that he's turning down $100,000 shows. Because? What's the reason? I don't know. Huh? I don't know why. What's the reason? Maybe that's his reason. Maybe he don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, no, I can tell you a story. Oh, no, they said his reason is because you want to make music. Yeah. Want to make music? Well, maybe he just want to make music. Yeah. I mean, artists is artists, man. Right. Yeah. You know, Prince, Michael Jackson, everybody, Kanye, everybody got their own. No, but I'm frame saying, coming home from jail, you dudes is turning down a hundred thousand. Maybe, well, maybe he got a master stage. plan to make two yeah. two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand. I remember at one time, Big Pun made the same money that Jay Z made, and the same thing. Jay Z turned around and started turning down. And he asked for like 150,000. Nobody ever heard of that. It was, right. it was you the man if he was getting 40,000, right? right? He was like, yo, I'm not moving without 150,000. They came and they gave him the 150,000. They wow. was like, I want 200 in a private plane. And they started giving him 200 in a private plane. Wow. So there's some niggas that got a strategy that looks weird to us, but right. they hold out right. and they get what they want. Right. He figures, yo, I'm going to still make that 100,000 when I put out this masterpiece album, I'm right. gonna be charging niggas 250 and killing them. Mm. I mean, I guess that's his his concept. Me, mm. I'm greedy. I'm taking everything. I've never got paid a hundred thousand a show. I'm throwing it out there. I've had I success. Have. I've had. I've never had a hundred k a show. I like have. I ain't gonna lie. It was like it was. I I've like maybe had like eighty. Like, but it was like I a, made a like half a, a million a show. God That's damn. the biggest I ever made. God damn. Half a in million the States, show. In the, in the United States. Nah, Africa. I was about to say Dubai. I was about to say Africa. Not that story you told us about. Yeah, that, that story. <laughs> Go ahead. So was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, I got paid. Rakinio. This is Rakinio. Rakinio. I got paid to get kidnapped. Right, right. Oh, but you came man. back. So now it. we got back. You know mm. what I mean? Uh, there's a lot. I remember one time I called uh, Flo Rider. Flo Rider, my brother, I love him to death. I love yeah. what he does with the kids, him and um, Freezy over here with the bas football tournaments and all that. But I called Flo Rider because I was doing a bar mitzvah. 
And I was getting like 50,000 to do it. Them niggas was like, yo, we'll give Flo, Flo Rider 200,000 if he come to the bar mitzvah. Do you know him? Flo Rider live across the street from the bar mitzvah, across the street. And I was like, yo, Flo, they want you to come across the street so they can give you 200,000. He was like, Joe, I love you so much. My price is 400. I can't go. I said, but no, Flo Rider, look out your window. I'm waving at you. <laughs> I said, nah, I can't do it. My price is my price. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, this nigga must be making tremendous amount of money. Jesus. Go across the street, two songs, 200,000, go home. <laughs> In your flip flops. <laughs> I gotta go there because you posted this on your gram. This was the blackout 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, the other day was, was the, the um, anniversary of the blackout. Now, what happened on this legend? Because, you know, Drink Chance fans, ironically, uh, they're young people. Some, some, some are older, but some people probably don't know what the fuck we're talking about. So I would like you to, to, to understand. Street basketball in New York at this time was the biggest thing. Like, yes. you, like you see Dykeman, that's how Rucker used to be all the time. Mm. And um, I was in and there. Dykeman is the new Rucker. Dykeman is the new Rucker. Right. right. So um, I was. That's they Safari, by the way. I Sorry. was the champion. Sorry. I was the champion for three years in a row. Then Jay-Z decided to get a team and come into Rucker. Mm. I was really offended. I was in my feelings because I felt like. You know, when I went to the Rucker, it was almost on its way out, and I started bringing all the NBA niggas. So I built the shit back up, mm. right? So his team is playing. Them niggas got LeBron James. They got Jamal Crawford. They, and this they is had, high school LeBron, huh? Though. This is high, high school, school High school LeBron. They had the planet Earth with them. And they was winning every game. He was bringing Beyonce to all the games at the Rucker. Beyonce was sitting in the middle of Harlem. Niggas was going crazy, so we we was bringing everybody too. Stephon Mulberry, Allen Novice, and everybody. Can I ask something? Was it a little bit of like, what is like a little? I don't want to say hate, but it was a little. It was like, a little hate. It, it was, was like, yo, why right, is this cool. nigga coming in my shit? In my this shit. nigga got Beyonce. Right. He filthy rich. Right. He got everything in the world. <laughs> right. Why he come to my little park with Fat Joe the King to take my shit? So we all say. It was hate. It was hate, okay. It was hate. Okay, let's roll. No, nah, it was petty. <laughs> petty. 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 Okay. Real petty, because right. at that time, it was loco for the cake. You know, we was like really on some bullshit. Right. So in any case, he's winning, he's winning. You know, like Cinderella or some shit, Rocky. Right. They winning, they winning. But guess what? He wins the playoffs. We win the playoffs. Fat Joe, Jay-Z, they playing. Mm. So we supposed to play the championship on this day, and then the blackout, it was so hot or whatever, the whole New York City had no power. There was over 30, 40,000 kids on the street to see the game. The park only hold a thousand people. The shit looked like giant stadium in the middle of Harlem. It was, it, it, the radio was talking about the game every two seconds. Mm. Like, and what, yo, yeah, what's going down? What, it's what crazy, exact it's crazy. Year was? You remember exact year? Oh man, I don't even know. I mean, 15 years ago, what is it? What's 15 years ago? Who's, who's uh, smart 2003. nigga? 2003. <laughs> 2003. Yeah, 2003. 2003. Yeah. 2003. So 2003. Okay. Joe's math so, is impeccable. Huh? Your math is impeccable. Nah, you know, <laughs> it's a big charm. moment. You got that charm. You got that money. You get that charm. You, you get that charm. Yeah, you got that different diddy so, vibe. You so, know? all right, let me just describe the situation. Because for those that the don't know. The fucking power, Jesus Christ, no, 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 my hold Lord on, and Savior. For those that don't know, in the, summertime, in the summertime in New York City, this is one of the biggest uh, events that's happening. It's in the daytime. To the nighttime, but I'm talking about every NBA player has to come through this for their rite of passage. But before they're NBA players. Before no, no, they're no, NBA no, players. No, NBA and is, even when no. they're NBA players, to show that you still like, got it. It was like Kobe now, Bryant. Was, yeah, Kobe went player? out there that day. No, nah, no, 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 I had no, everybody. Is, yeah. So Jay Z had LeBron James, Vince Carter, uh, Tr Tracy McGrady, um, Jamal Crawford. He had a bunch of niggas. Shaquille O'Neal. So at that game, he, he had Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James. It was stupid. I had Carmelo. I, this, all right. Nobody ever heard, knew this, right? I had Carmelo Anthony, who's young on, Carmelo, who was like. Who's on Rock Nation right who, now. Who just won the chip to uh, uh, Syracuse, mm. right? 
So Carmelo Anthony, I had Al Harrington, Why I had Amari Stoudemire. Black and Puerto Rican. You know, I love Carmelo. I had, <laughs> I had Amari <laughs> Stoudemire. I had Stephon Mulberry when he was the highest Ooh, paid nigga in the Stephon NBA. Marbury next. Stephon Mulberry. I had Allen Iverson. I had Mike Bibby. Wow. Um, Zach Randolph. Um, yo, it was disgusting what, the crew what? I had to you play. You have like a skip to my Lua future. We like, had skip you, to my Lua. Okay, you we have, had Kareem Reed. We had Kareem everybody. Reed, but yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, I had all the niggas, right? So what happened is he had all the niggas. The blackout happened. So what happened was the NBA teams started calling the players for practice. Practice had to start. It was getting late in the summer, right? So all his players, I knew had to go back to the NBA teams. Mm. My niggas was loyal to me, and they stood in New York for the mm. replay. There was a, a second. Because when was the rematch supposed to happen? The next day? Three days later, two days later. Oh. But I had my niggas. Right. Like, everybody <laughs> was ready, sitting in the hotel. Half the niggas was in the park. Like, I didn't see them. I knew that they niggas had to go out of town. OK, Joe, you're going too, way too fast. OK. So you're saying the first game was first the game was, was yeah, we but you did reschedule. We, I didn't we rescheduled know okay. to a next two days later, and that's why you said I don't even have to speak about the Rutgers because we you won. Ain't we didn't play. even have to play. They didn't even show up. Well, yeah, we was out there default. for like three hours. They ain't come. They forfeited. Mm. Mm. They said Jay Z had to go to San Pay or something. So I'm like, that was hard. That was a hard excuse. You know, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> had, had the no nigga said, the game, if you had Beyonce and had a, a yacht in the middle of Sancho Pay, you would leave too. Uh -huh. But I'm had like, y'all started the game though before the blackout? No. No. Oh, okay. It was gonna. It, it, okay, the but it was very. Like it looked two, like, like when you look at that history, the documentary. God, it's a God's plan. Um, before the blackout, it looked like it, it looked like it was tension. Big tense. Okay. On my behalf. Okay. Look, I was a piece of shit. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you. I God was a damn. bad guy, troublemaker. Um, um, I was looking for bullshit every second of the day. You right. know, this was my life at one point. Before rap and my first eight years of rap, I was looking to fuck anybody up. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it probably would have been real tense in that game, man. Like, right. really, God did us a, the biggest favor you ever seen in life not letting the game happen. Why? You know what I'm saying? It was. It would have took one call. It would have took one, yo, they jerked us, you know, for niggas to run on the court and start the bullshit. So, but when you, know? you rescheduled just for, you know, um, when you rescheduled, did not they even show up? Not me, the league rescheduled. OK. No, OG Wan showed up, and like two of their players, John Strick and another player. I did not see any other players out there. Stephon Marbury was in the middle of the court. Zach Randolph, all my niggas was in the yeah, court. Zach Randolph? Everybody was in the that, court. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal was there. Like, Dang, we had, had the bullies. everybody. Had the we bullies. had everybody. We had everybody. Damn, those are all bully players. So, but he, he had Shaquille O'Neal. So, he had Shaquille O'Neal. So be, to be clear, uh, there's a good probability they would have won if that first game went down and they had Shaquille O'Neal. Nobody could right. stop Shaquille. Shaquille would take seven niggas on right. Right. You know, I was mad. I want to break Shaquille's legs, man. <laughs> right. No. You wanted to break his legs then? I called him. I told Shaq I'm going to break his legs. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> Not real talk. Uh, I, need to, I need to understand this, Shaq. Uh, you call Shaq. Now, yeah. listen, I seen I see Shaq the other day. Like, I love Shaquille O'Neal. He's the, in the biggest club. nigga you ever seen And you know what he did? Life. The nigga put his hand on me. I was like, mm, put your hand on my head. Because, like, uh, you're just too small to this nigga. Like, no, nah, Shaq the biggest <laughs> nigga on earth. Right. And I love him and everything, but that's how much I was in my feelings at that time. Mm. You know? So you call, how does this call, phone watch call? Watch <laughs> how does this phone call happen, Fedro? Could somebody, Mr. Lee? Yeah, yeah, how does this phone call this happen, guy? You call, um, you call him just out the blue? Well, I did it on the radio. Like, Shaq was up on the radio talking. That blackout, the only thing that worked was the radio. So he was up there, Steve Stout, OG Wan, mm. Shaq. And he talking about, yo, I'm going to do Fat Joe. I heard Fat Joe bringing Yao Ming. I was like, yo, Shaq, man, I'm going to break your legs. You walk in that park. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But I was on some bullshit. Like, <laughs> and I love Shaquille O'Neal. I worship yeah. him. Right. It's just I was, I, was, I was a bad guy at one time. That's it. It's the truth. Yeah. Make some noise for growth. Make some noise for growth. God damn it, that's growth. So if, if, the, if the game, the second game would have happened, when you won by forfeit, right? Because you said you didn't have to play it. What do if you think? If Shaquille O'Neal wasn't with them, they wasn't with them the we second game, won. right? 
we would have won the second game. Okay. You know no. what I mean? Because my, all my players was there. I had Allen Iverson and Steph, Steph Marbury in the backcourt with this, Mike this Bibby. Is, when is, Mike Bibby was the all, and this I is where Steph was the guy too. My Steph nigga, I had the old East Coast All Star team right. ready to play. The, if you look up that year, every nigga I'm telling you is the starters of the East Coast All Star team was playing in Harlem at that park. Mm. It was it was it was out of control what we was about to do out there. You know what I'm saying? But Shaquille O'Neal was the most dominant player of this era. Right. Now Marbury still has not let it go, according to your Instagram. <laughs> yes. <laughs> according yes, to your Instagram, <laughs> like you posted this and you saw this heartfelt I story. I said I love Jay Z. You said you said I love OG One. This yeah. day brought us together. Right. The blackout brought us together 15 right. years ago. Yes. Now we got something to talk about. We laugh about it, and now we all business partners, and, and we and we do great with each. We love each other. So. You know, I put that up. The nigga Marbury went bad. You know what I'm saying? What did he say? He was exactly? going, nah, I can't say what he said. I don't want to say what he said. Uh -huh. But he went bad. I had to actually, and I love Stephon Marbury. Right. I love him to death. Right. I had to delete his, um, what he was, his, what he yeah. said. His cause comment? He went yeah. too bad. Uh. So, you know, Jay-Z said, you could be like Marbury at oh, the light. You could right. lose your life. You, you want to me? Uh, I'm thinking this is the game. No. Oh, think about Marbury at this the bitch. Light. You me, Not only light. that, I didn't Sebastian think that. Telfair was Marbury's little nephew. That's his cousin, right? His okay. little cousin. Okay. We watched him grow up. I used to eat ghetto fucking chicken wings, fri fried rice and chicken wings with this little nigga. What? This nigga was playing for Jay-Z when he was the hottest young nigga coming out of high school in the city. Wow. So he was playing for them. So Step was mad. His little nephew, his little cousin, what? was he was going to kill that nigga. Step was going to drop 50 points on that little nigga. They wow. were taking him out like in one quarter. But we was offended. Wow. We watched the little nigga grow up. And he went and played you know, for at the time, the ops. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was a lot of built-in anger, but 15 years later, and Stephon Marbury's such a, a legend. He got statues in China. He runs a billion-dollar company out there and all that. Yeah. He ain't had to go that bad on Instagram, man. Yeah, he went bad. He went, he went there. I love but, Steph, though. So, Joe, let me just ask you, so, because um, you balance this kind of ill. You, you're probably the only person that what Ja Rule friend? You, you, you went to turmoil with, with 50, and you're probably the only other person that can be cool with both of them, like the way you're cool with both of them. Or, or, or is that the truth? I don't know if I'm cool with both of them. I don't know if they, if they, you know, I don't know if they both mad. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard a rumor you're supposed to bring them both out on Summer Jam. I try to bring them both out on Summer Jam. Crazy. I, I both heard fuck my mother. You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, wait no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> wait, wait, stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, niggas was like, yo, fuck you, fuck your mother's a lesbian. No, you're this. No, no, we're not doing no, no, it. No, no, you know? No, 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 nah, yeah, you know, I, know, I know you mean it like. It, I mean it, it in like a bad, like they went bad. So hold on, what was your plan, Fat Joe? Let me just think of it. I was this. gonna bring out Ja Rule and Fifty Cent. So you saying on stage? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but what record was this going to perform? Whatever record. The they could do whatever. We was going to be. Remix. <laughs> of a remix. My uh, shit was your fifth. Relax. Ja, relax. Let's do it for hip hop. And not only I got cursed out, but I got super cursed out. Because <laughs> I didn't realize that Irv Gotti is like, he really got a problem with that situation. So right. Irv don't bother nobody, he do his Hollywood thing, but he yeah. called me and called me all type of shit. And I was just like, he was like, hey, ain't gonna be no kumbia. Irv? Up, no, I call him both. You call Irv Yo, Ja, and check this out. Okay. I'm doing Summer Jam, I'm headlining. I want you to come out me and rap, and I'm bringing 50 Cent out. Yo, 50, check this out. I'm headlining, I really need you to come out with me, do your blood, your gangsta, everything. And guess what, I got Ja Rule with us, and we gonna come out together. Okay. And I heard fuck my mother everything. No, no, this is Joe. Both sides? Both sides? <laughs> yeah, everybody. Stop. But yo, if this would have happened, if this would have. That would have been. We're born again Christian. <laughs> now I'm telling you. You say you're born again Christian? But yo, I'm just a beautiful person. But yo, I want everybody to get along. That would have been the hell. That would have been the hell. Let's suppose this would have happened, right? Let's suppose you would have called 50. Nobody would have fought. He would have said yes. Nobody would have fought. Let's suppose you called Ja. But what, what records would you have brung them out together? It don't matter. They just would have bought no, it. No, it would have mattered. Wish death upon me, 
blood on my eye. And then Ja would have came out and did his little New Yorker clap back. Whatever. I was going. We was just going to go no, up he, there. Ja couldn't have did clap back. You can't. Did you just say clap back? Joe, that was terrible. <laughs> you can't say clap back. This is directly going at 50 Cent. We cannot well, do that. Many men is going at him, too. Oh, no, work. Many men might be the same as that kid. Same they shit. Be right. They've been dissing each other forever. Yeah, they got to do neutral. So, they got to do candy shop. Yeah, well, you got to yeah, well, um, understand is. Put it on me. I argue I had beef with 50 Cent for seven, eight years. This shit what? is whack. What? Dissing each other, dissing each other, and then. Everybody want to diss each other more and then this and then you know it's going down when you see each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All that is like played out to me. And I love and worship Ja Rule and Irv. You know what I mean? And I know they got to feel a certain way because I'm cool. Like they, they both told me we cringe when you see we see you in pictures with 50 Cent. You're my friend. Mm -hmm. You're my friend. And I am their friend. Like I got to show the seventh in Vegas, and I'm flying back to New York to go to Irv's mom's 80th birthday. Wow. Like, these are really my friends. I fuck with Ashante, talk to her every other day. Yeah. Like, they my brothers, but I'm just not with the smoke. I'm not with it. It don't, it don't benefit nothing. Yeah. Right. Me beefing with 50 Cent and him beefing with me don't benefit nothing. Peace right. feels so much better, man. Could, right. could we bring you and Cuban Link together? No, you couldn't. But I'm glad I told you last time you did, I heard he's did. in church. Right. So if he's really in church, I salute him because I fear God. You know what I'm saying? And right. and that's about it. With like 50 Cent and all of them, I told you, I don't want to go in. I mean, uh, right. Cuban League, it was right. bad, man. Yo, when right. you take people and first of all, we was all born alone. Let's just go to this concept. Right. All y'all niggas in here was born butt naked alone. Y'all ain't even know each other. Mm. Right? Mm. So now we all grew up dirt poor, dirt poor, welfare, projects, wiping my ass with toilet paper, no AC, sleeping on the floor because it's colder. You can't tell me about being poor, nigga. I done yeah. ate the kitchen sink, rice with this, with that. Like, I've been broke. Like, I don't have pictures of when I was a little kid because we didn't afford a camera. That's how broke fat Joe was. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So now I get an opportunity where God bless me and put me in a position to help somebody else and make somebody else a millionaire, make them another a star, make them a star. Buy these niggas homes before I owned a home. I still lived in an apartment when I bought the nigga home. And for them niggas to do all that and try to destroy me. See, so if you look at my Instagram on my birthday, all the comments were saying, yo, these niggas do everything at this nigga everything at this nigga. His best friend's wife was going bad saying, you know, he robbed, he did, like they try to destroy me in every way. 50 Cent was the big bad wolf. Nigga was 30 platinum. Yeah. Smashing everybody. I'm the only nigga kept coming back at that nigga going, I know the beef. You understand? So when I, when I see the opportunity and, and, and how generous and, and the money and, and everything I did for these people, for them to try to just cut my legs, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to go in a football game, watch a football game and see a nigga get hit hard in a football game. But you ever see a nigga dive at the nigga's knees and the, and the you know he's trying to break his yeah, knee. Right, right, right. He's trying to they cut his whole, him, yeah. they trying to cut his whole life. Y'all don't understand, I, I, I had albums coming out, hits. Make it rain on them hoes. And the day my album come out when you normally go to Hot 97, they was on BLS talking about, yo, we homeless. This nigga shitting on us. Yo, don't buy his shit. Fuck this nigga. This, this, this. They really was doing this to me. I don't understand if you, if there's a such thing as trolls, they was trolling and me. Now let's say Fat Joe. As a man, Joseph Cartagena, hip hop fan. If I was a fan, of Big Pun and Fat Joe being the Latino superpowers and them being brothers. And the wife of Big Pun said that Fat Joe's a piece of shit and he's robbing us in this. I would never like Fat Joe in my fucking life. Me being Joseph Cartagena, the hip hop fan, I'd have been, fuck that nigga. Fuck him. So you understand what I had to go through? How I had to walk? Yeah. How I needed people like you and other people to say, no, he's a great guy. This guy's phenomenal. Gives to the community, open businesses, computers to the school, send plays to Puerto Rico. The man gives everything. You understand? And people try to destroy me on another level. Like, I don't think y'all understand that. 
Because I understand, because I'm like, yo, if I was an outsider sitting in, I'd be like, yo, this nigga is a scumbag. So I had to convince the people, yo, that ain't what it is, nigga. Like, I, it's, it's, it's incredible, man. It was a big fight. It was a big fight. You know, I had to overcome, you know what I'm saying? And it still bothers me. Nah, nah, that's beautiful, man. Fuck that, man. And, you, and you're still here, man. You're still here, Morty's still strong. Still nah, we still motor. We got the yeah. movie coming out. Mo um, the Kevin Hart joint, nice right? School, oh, nice school. Yeah. 26. Let's make some noise for that, yeah. goddamn. We got, we got She's Gotta Have It. We just wrapped up Woo, She's Gotta Spike Have It season two with Spike Lee. Let me, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, yeah, I, um, I was actually. My beard is right. I was actually, uh, I actually, my flight was supposed to be for tomorrow for Angie's Barbecue. I was going to go to Angie's Barbecue and then go to your party. What happened was we fell back on the Revolt episode, so we had to, we got to record, recording you and recording Ja Rule tomorrow. Oh, wow. So, um, so I'm just flying up for your party. But let me just tell you, I, you know, Joe is my brother. I love this guy. So he's like, you got to come to my party. I'm like, all right, cool. Make sure my wife blocked out the dates, did whatever. He says, so where do you want to sit next to? Spike Lee or Mary J. Blige? I said, Jesus. Because <laughs> y'all listen. Ah, listen, listen. No, 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 listen, listen. Jesus. I had to. Because the nigga Nori acting like he was doing me the biggest favor. He was like, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Every, you know, it's a drink champ, nigga. <laughs> Five e, the oyster. He, you know we got in the solo. I can check him. He's so hot. I can check this nigga. The nigga was going. Oh. Should I get on the plane? Cause I don't do this for just anybody. Oh, uh, you want me to? You want me to walk? I said. I said, wait a minute, Nori. Thank you for. I worship you. Do you want to sit next to Spike Lee or Mary J? <laughs> You want Tiffany Haddish? <laughs> or you want that? Like, come on, my nigga. Yeah. You got to be there. Nah, he lost to me. It, I had to. The beginning <laughs> part did not happen. <laughs> the other part that he said did not happen. I just, you know, I'm proud now, of you, my brother. Let me tell you something. I'm... Nori said on my birthday, he said, man, I be thinking you're my real brother mm -hmm. for my mother. Yeah. That's how we are. And yeah. you know, we've been, we been friends for what, 20 years? Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes, you know how you, people could trade people? We still people. look young, we like, look amazing, but we You know how you could trade friends people friends in baseball? Years. Like, sometimes yeah. I feel like you should trade, that's like some family members, like, there's a couple of, like, cousins. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm not up. sure. Like, no, let's some niggas, some, some niggas. cousins is fuck niggas. <laughs> yeah, some niggas. Some niggas is fuck niggas in like, our family. What is it, the racial, uh, the racial niggas trade? Niggas fuck some, niggas. Some niggas got to trade. Nah, we got, yo, my nigga, we got some. The black congregation take the Latino congregation. Yo, we got Fuck niggas in our family. Right. It's some niggas right. you can't believe it. Sometimes I right. sit there and I look at these niggas. No, all go, of us, all of us, we all have that. Everyone has. Let me that. tell you something. I worship my son, right? Love him to kingdom come. He's my boy, man. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I be sitting there with this nigga, he be doing some questionable shit to where I'm looking. Nah, I'm just meaning like shit I ain't with. So I be sitting there looking at this nigga. I be like, yo, you believe this nigga? Well, like, like tight jeans or something? No, like, uh, t not tight jeans. He could wear tight Like this morning, my wife had to go to the airport. We need a nigga to take her because my other car's in the shop. Yo, he has something to do. How you gonna have something to do, my nigga, <laughs> when she gotta go to the... Are you fucking serious, my nigga? Like, I'm sitting... And I love my son. Right. Everything's for my family. I work hard for my family, but... What kind of fucking, they lucky I wasn't up this morning, man. <laughs> and then he took the next train out to New York too. I was like, oh my God, I would kill this nigga. Yeah. But it's some fucked up shit, some fuck nigga shit. <laughs> right. It really is. <laughs> like you like, what? Like, are you serious? Like you blessed, you blessed to raise spoiled children, brother. You spoil you, man. You and, then, and then I don't know how, because we ain't have nothing. So we try to give our kids everything. So we don't understand how, and this ain't just my problem, it's the problem of anybody who feels like, yo, they ain't have nothing, they taking care of their kids. When they grow up, they almost think like they the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Right. I tell a nigga all the time, we are not Sean Puffy Combs, nigga. What? This what? money run out, what? his don't. What? 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 You got what? a Benz, you roll it up, you looking all right, you dip fresh, For you, you a Muri all the time, but chill. <laughs> You know, because they got some new shit. I don't know if you know the, the Dr. Dre's son, 
Puff son, a bunch of them niggas. Now they taking privates, the kids. Oh no. They got no, the it's a new society of the of the oh. the sons. They taking private planes. These is 40,000, 30,000. So he's showing me, yo, Dr. Dre son, my man. Yo, puppy son, they jumping out the I'm like, yo, my nigga, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this is real shit though. Real. This is not going down. Like, just know I don't take private planes unless we gotta take one. Yes. I'm not doing that no more. I did yes. that. I spent tons of millions of dollars on that shit. We not doing that shit. Right. So I gotta, you know, this is shit, you know, these niggas is for you, man. God bless them, they beautiful, we love them, but they, like, it's a problem. <laughs> Let's make some noise for last year on my birthday. Uh, the hurricane hit, Fat Joe came to me in my birthday dinner and said, Nori, we're gonna God. die. I remember, I remember that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to have this the This nigga was song. having a dinner with cakes. <laughs> yeah, you brought us and all And everybody's out. like. We're like, yo, no, it's a hurricane. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you the yeah, worst shit. Man, no, like, I'm going to tell you the no, worst shit. We're going to die. He said, yo, I rented the biggest suite with my Saint wife Regis. at the St. Regis <laughs> right on the beach. I'm like, nigga. I said, God is my dying, nigga. You're dying, nigga. <laughs> dying. He was like, no, Joe. I mean, they said it's a light. Yo, my God. Yo, yo. But you know what was fucked up? Was I really trying to stick it out. Like, I really went the next day. It was the whole shit with Jim Jones, right? No, that, that came later. But I'm saying, I really tried to stick it out. I really stood there. I, I checked in the hotel. They said, Mr. You Santiago, almost, you're good. We almost they fucked evacuated up the plane. You guys. No, no, the plane, no, they then, evacuated this thing. He later, called me up, he said, yo, said, yo, yo, you still got that plane? <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, yo, my nigga, I was just begging you, are you on drugs? Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. I took... The canary, nigga. Like, <laughs> we took the dog, the bird, <laughs> my mom's, my pot, every. What was that a South Side <laughs> plane? <or what? laughs> that shit was I, lit. I nigga. have a mother-in-law. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, 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 my mom was touching the butt like he never seen no. She was like, <laughs> shit going. On. He was, oh, so I see. Hey, <laughs> nigga, we South Side that fucking plane out. And his mother-in-law, yeah. she got her way on the plane too. Yeah. She yep. dropped him off and she was like, let's go. And his wife was like, we hey, got a my mama too. could come. I was like, yeah, let's mama's go. Go. She jumped. Nah, that shit was a sasa. Narcos, big up Narcos, my dog. He, Narco. he was on there. Narcos, my dog. Narco was in there. We was pissy drunk yeah. on that plane too. And and had the, had the coolest pilots too, by the way. The what? The coolest pilots. The coolest pilots. Oh no, we just, I was just glad to get out of here, B, because. Mm. I've been to a couple of Amer I hurricanes here. Like Hurricane um, Katrina, I was here. All that. I was here. The shit sound like, like a nigga is just, you know how they do the uh, the motorcycle? Like it ain't going nowhere, but it's just doing yeah. the smoke. That's how your windows, if you never did one, right. your no, did, windows, did, did. you did one? Yeah. Yo, your windows sound like a nigga doing that on a motorcycle. I don't think I did a serious one. For 20 I didn't do it like, and, you, and Oye like, Mikanto was shot when a hurricane was approaching. Oh. The way that the video looks, Gil Green, he he hooked that up digital. Yeah, I you was know at that, that video. You know what yeah. I always say about um like living in Miami? It's like you become an automatic weatherman. Yeah. Like, yo, like today, like me and me and me and um Sonny's on my balcony, and we looking like, yo, I right, cool, look, it's about to rain. I I I literally said two minutes we gotta we gotta wrap everything up. And in two minutes the rain came, we stood there. Then I can look at this shit and tell you when the rain is coming. Yeah. Like everybody that lives in Miami is a fucking weather and fucking specialist. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. Am I lying? Yo, the weather. People the, that live in Miami. I'll tell you. Like, like, yo, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. The yeah. weather girls in Miami, the bitches on TV. Oh, today humidity this. I'll be like, shit. That bitch from Club Lit. <laughs> <laughs> Them bitches is bad as fuck. The weather bitches. Yo, Sonny, the weather bitches is a okay. Yo, I'm like, holy shit. You going? What's going on? In, yo, what's going on in Boca Raton, mommy? They need to point down there. And give me a little egg. Bitches is bad, nigga. I'm like, yo, where is these weather bitches, man? Jesus. Nah, yo. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what. Yo, listen. Yo, let me tell you something. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let me tell you something. When I, I would never build a house again in Miami. Well, you it, built one from scratch? Oh, I built one from the scratch. The plantation joint? Plantation from scratch. Yo, my nigga, let me tell you something. In New York, I done bought cribs, put construction paper on the window, and niggas is working 24 hours a day. I built my house in Miami, niggas be like, I go over there, and nobody's working. They be like, yo, what's up? 
Papa, it's raining. Yo, my nigga, it's a fucking drizzle. Yo, my nigga. They stop building. A drizzle. Papa, la lluvia está mala. Yo, what, what, nigga? Oh, you better get the fuck out here and work. I almost killed these niggas so many times. Like, Miami different, man. How long it took them to build? Them niggas, what, maybe two years or something. These niggas was taking their time. They was, Everything, everything was an excuse. Yo, it's raining. It's too hot for the roof to this and that. I'm like, yo, these niggas got excuses. I can't do it. I'm like, I'm like, I like to pay. Like, I like to just pay you and get it done. Leave me alone. Let's do it. I don't like the bullshit, the back and forth. Yo, you know how many times I went up there, I was about to smash the niggas building When my you house? moved to that house in Plantation, what year? Man, years ago, man. First, I had to land. And then we built the crib over there from scratch. It was the most beautiful crib in the world, but. I loved it with the big TS in the front of the door. The big TS in the front. Cool. And then, you know, yeah, we had the stupid crib. And then it's just the animals in the night. It <laughs> sounds like. You swear he live by Metro Zoo and shit. Yo, I swear. I swear, yo, my wife used to call me. She used to be like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, what's wrong? Sounds like two apes is fucking. <laughs> Yo, my nigga, Wait. I'm gonna tell you one thing I have. Did you just say two eights? Nah, nah, yo, the sounds. <laughs> yo, yo, listen to me. Yo, I used to say, yo, a hurricane, there's gonna be tigers and zebras running out here. Because over there, niggas got farms, and they hear, you hear shit. Different animals, my nigga. No, but let me just say something. Sorry to cut you off. One thing about Miami is if you're ever just looking around, there's always like a bird that flies around, and you just be like, this motherfucker's worth seventy million dollars, oh, yeah. and he's just flying around like you ever seen like like Pet Ventura. I used to try yeah. to Ace Ventura, you know I never knew him. that was in Miami. Like I grew up my whole time watching that shit, and then I, I kid you not, Niggas these birds escape. that come by my balcony, and I'd be like, yo, I bet you if a nigga catch this nigga, this nigga seventeen thousand yeah, dollars. Beautiful parrots, it's all beautiful kinds of crazy parrots, shit. Like, and all that. Like I'm just saying, like the expensive shit, the you niggas see just be running around. around and I'm just like, yo. These the hurricanes and the, 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 yeah. the shit, the shit, the, the, the animals. No, in the cocaine cowboy days, these dudes had these tigers oh, that's true too. and, and still, monkeys and all kinds of shit. Let me tell you something. Shit. They used to be some raccoons in my crib. <laughs> it's a little different. Yo, my oh, nigga, oh, I was oh, so you went to the strapped, raccoons? my nigga. I was so strapped. I used to watch these niggas. You had niggas. beef with the raccoons? <laughs> I used to watch <laughs> these <laughs> niggas through the window. <laughs> Uh -huh. Looking at these niggas, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna kill these niggas, man. Word uh -huh. the mother, I'm gonna kill these uh -huh. niggas. Niggas come through, fuck your garbage up. These oh, niggas yeah, yeah, yeah. is big. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and they ain't cool. scared. Right. You kick the window, the door, the niggas is looking at you like, yeah. Oh, they'll come at you. They'll oh, come yeah. at you. I'm telling you, my nigga, I had beef with the raccoons, everybody. I had to get out of there. <laughs> I thought I wanted quiet life. I went out there, my nigga, I was like, yo, these niggas, these niggas trying to die over here or something. But like, wait, you moved out of Florida now? No, I oh. I moved into. Into, oh, deeper into like Miami. The, the city, into Miami, city. bang. You oh, hear one of the buildings. You, you, know you hear the sirens beef? that... No, I got a crib on the water. Oh, okay. I'm in the island. Right. Oh, in the island. No, no, we in the island. In Jersey, I used to have beef with the geese. You know the geese? The geese? I don't like none of these people. Yeah, the, the I don't geese, like none mm -hmm. of them. Because they they'll come at you like... Yeah, they come at you. They do that in Jersey. Mm-hmm. In Jersey. You have beef with the geese. Mm-hmm. And then you kill one of them niggas and you that's in a, trouble. Oh, you going no, to jail. That's, that's a federal you going crime. To jail. Yeah, you might as well. That's like a hate crime. <laughs> no, for real. No, it is. <laughs> you hit one of them niggas, you done. Right. So what, what has uh, been like the biggest uh, difference from working with Rock Nation from like any other management company you've ever had? Shout out to Desiree. It's her birthday yeah. today. Oh, God bless you, Desiree. I bought her the biggest flowers. It's bigger than this table. It was the most... She was like, yo, you something else, man. It was the abundance of flowers. It was the biggest shit you ever right. see. Thousands of dollars on these flowers. Mm. Big shit. Because she saved my life and she structured me right. Mm. You know, a lot of times the way we thought, you did this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the way we worked, we thought we was doing it right. But they call that shit homeboy management and all mm. that. So you need people. So what you got, the difference is for all you artists, I know you artists be watching these young boys. Listen. The difference of just having your homeboy managing you that's supposedly smart and somebody who's already in power is there's people trying to get to you that don't know your homeboy. Mm. It's Colgate. 
It's Corona beer. It's, it's McDonald's. It's McDonald's. And they're trying to throw you this check, but they don't know your man. Right. Or they don't want to deal with your man. Yeah. So the best thing was that that opened so many doors for me mm. where I was able to do business with so many different people I normally couldn't have. Because mm. I was 20 years in the game and wasn't doing these deals. Right. And now I'm over here doing these deals. You know what I'm mm. saying? So they opened a lot of doors for me. And um, it's, tr it's really about the artists up there to me. Of course, you got to work your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. And they got to work. You got to be popping for anybody to make a dollar off of anything. Right. Mm. If you ain't popping, like Chris Lighty, rest in peace, mm. he was the king. King. But you had to once be you was popping, you had to be lit. Once you lit, then he go right. rape everybody and get the bread for you. Yeah. So you got you got to understand, if you not lit, if you not moving, Right. If you're not in demand, then you can't really complain that niggas because they can't do nothing for you. Right. But once you lit, them niggas can go get that bag. We call that low-hanging fruit. That shit right there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was hard. It's always facts. That was hard. Mm. No, we could put niggas on y'all twin. Yo, but we can put niggas on y'all twin. It's like, yeah. fuck y'all twin. Twin, come over here. Y'all twin, come here, man. Twin, come over here. You got to Y'all twin, get them on. Twin, come over here. Nah, that nigga mad. Somebody bother him. Somebody bothered my nigga. That nigga over here, he looking at me. You ain't see his face. Huh. That nigga you know, looking what, disgusted. Yo, you, didn't we give you a pair of um, um, drink champs? Never did. Never did. Oh, he got me. What's your size, Joe? What's your size? Your shoe size. Size 12, bro. Oh, I'm we got it. We got it. We got it. Can, can I'm a niggas go get. Let's can bring it on the table. Can you, can you bring it on? Can you get grab a size 12 sweat. for me, Diego? It can't go I'm no further. Lie, Diego, you oh, no, like, wait. We, oh, wait, we don't have size. <laughs> we don't? I don't think so. Uh -huh. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if this happens every time, right. but, but I, Twins always on my episode. That's right. Twins always, always get that. Nah, yo, my nigga. Always on my episode. Right. So what happened? People telling you what? Uh, yeah, like, cause you know, like. People Joe, start, put turn your mic for you, yeah, uh, please. Uh, people see, you know, uh, like, I'm, my friend is Noriega, and I'm I'm in the lifestyle. I'm with the stars. Cool. But yeah. niggas be like, oh, put me on, put me on, nigga. What do you mean put you on? Like, you have to put in the work yourself. Mm. Like, labels have to look for you. You don't go look for a label, my mm. man. You know what I mean? Like, like. People think like, oh, put me on. What you mean put you on? What, you want me to tell Nori to, to roll blunt? You want to be his blunt roller? What, what mm. you, you want to show him your mixtapes that has 300 views? Mm. Like, no. Like, people wanna don't want to put in the work. They want to stay put. I'm going to tell you the worst niggas. Mm. Niggas that are actually killers that decide to rap. Mm. Like they, kill, they actually, Because they suck at rapping. No, they actually kill us and they the worst niggas you ever heard in your life. Yeah, they're the worst rappers. But they That's, convinced yeah, but that they, they the best. They Ill. And they got four niggas. Because they've really been through it. No, no, they got but they four forget, niggas yeah, playing it's, it's, Xbox with yeah. them telling them they the they greatest. They forget it's about creativity. Like their lyrics is real because You know how many killers it. I have to be like, yo, my man, what's up? Nah, nah, they, they keep on, yo, 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 I can't help you. Yo, so what's up? What you mean you can't, yo, suck my dick? <laughs> what's up yeah. then already? Like, we gotta, you know, put my life in danger. And I know these niggas is killers. But they're the worst rappers I have ever heard in my life. There's nothing we can do for you. Right, right. Nah, but and, and, and they've been through their life for real. Mr. Lee, congratulations, man. Happy birthday, brother. I know you like 900 in real life. You like 900. Because cause you've been 40 since I was 20. <laughs> no. Yeah, talk up. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. Hold on, Twitch, talk. I want to say yeah. something. Like, yeah. You got you. Do you feel like rap? So they got him under pressure in nah, Kendall. Nah, <laughs> nah. Like, nah Hialeah, right? Hialeah. Like, you go to Kendall, too. I feel like rappers with, nah, have more talent get outworked by the ones that have a little bit less talent, mm. and they make it. Mm. I, mean? like, I don't think that's necessarily that, true. I, no, I, I think so. In some cases. That's a good point. I see that I, I, in certain I cases. In a way, in a way, I feel like, because there's niggas that I know in my hood that the niggas can rap. But it's like mm. you putting out a song a month, nobody's waiting for you. Even music. less than a song a Nobody's month. waiting for your music. Oh, uh, bro, keep drop back to back. back All right, back. the point is that yeah, the good. record industry is the same corny niggas, same corny system. Mm. So what they do, they're not signing niggas. They're not a and r -ing niggas. They're not breaking niggas. What they doing is they looking at the charts and they look and they say, oh, shit. There's a little nigga named Twin that Power 96 is playing them 150 times. 
uh, 99 Jams is playing them 100 times a week. Or the streams. Power 105. No, no, or the streams. And they coming over here. Then they go and they sign you because you already lit. The, the proof is in the pudding that you're going to spread around the country. Right. But the problem I got with that, mm -hmm. right, is after you come from nothing and you make it yourself telling your life story or putting your heart into music, a nigga come and stand next to you when you get your plaque or your award like they did something. Mm. Like they some executive, some ill nigga we gotta respect. Some mm. nigga we gotta look up right. to. Like they really did something for the culture. No nigga, you looked at the chart, you seen who was hot in fucking Biloxi um, or, or Mississippi or Idaho nigga and you went over there and you signed a nigga. Mm. The nigga was gonna blow anyway, independently. Damn. He was streaming off the hook. So you go over there and now you're looking like you a superhero, like you did something. You ain't really a and or break any artists. Right. That's what you did. So all artists out there, just know you got to be lit first wherever you from. If you from North Carolina, get lit there. If you from fucking Georgia, get lit there. And it's going to spread out. Simple yeah, as that. I saw something that... Uh, the and it's so fucked up. It's so about the part to cut you up. It's so fucked up. You don't even have to be lit in your own town. You SoundCloud rappers... No, most they, of these yeah, guys ain't lit sound, in their town. They're not even all. lit in their own they town. And, and that's what happens. But look, because I know you got to go. And I want to... I wanna, um, but... You know, I've always been proud of you, but recently I've been uh, been able to be proud of you every single day. So I wake up every morning, and my favorite sports show in the world. First take. It's first take. Yeah. And every day on first take, they promoting you September third that you're gonna perform. We gonna rip that shit down. Down yonder. I'm gonna be in Not Paris. You're gonna, gonna be in Paris, but you can yeah, watch I'm it. I'm gonna be on that plane. I'm gonna be nah, on that it's plane. Gonna be, I can it's watch gonna it. be ugly out there. We're gonna welcome them to New York. Mm -hmm. It's an honor to do first take because that's everybody's favorite show. Everybody's. And um, and it's gonna be crazy, man. I got I got some surprises coming out with me. You right. know what I'm saying? And we gonna go out there and rip it down and put on a good show for them. It's an honor for me. They could have picked anybody. That's everybody's favorite show. Snoop Dogg would have did it. You would have did it. Anybody would have did it. But, you know but what I'm saying? So it's clear. an honor let's, they actually that joke. Because there's a lot of people who claim they're the king of New York. There's a lot of people. <laughs> And listen, there could be 15 <laughs> kings in New York. There could be 15 kings in New York. But when ESPN first take a guy named Stephen A. Smith, who's from Hollis, Queens, Max Kellerman, uh, Molly, uh, and they handpick my friend, Fat Joe, I, you can be modest, but I'm going to say that's clearly saying this is the one, if not the king, at least one of he's the one kings. He's one of them kings, yeah, he's one of, of them. Of New York, because... <laughs> because in this case, it's, it's not chess, it is checkers. And on checkers, you can have more than one king. I'm one of the kings of New York, that's, no that's, question. That's what New York... No, nah, no, nah, that's a fact. I'm, one of, I'm one of the kings of New York, you know mm. that. Mm. And, um, it, it, you know... It's an Beautiful. honor, man. It's an honor. There's no way to explain it to you. It's an honor. We work real hard for that, but, you know, I'm just glad they picked me, and I'm going I'm to make them happy, and we're going to make a movie out there. You know, God that's damn. the bottom line. God damn it. Thank you, man. Man, Fat Joe from fucking Drink Drink Chat. <laughs> my flight in my hotel is booked. I'm going out there just for you for your birthday. Now, happy let birthday. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you want to sit next to Spike, <laughs> Mary J? Or uh -huh. Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> Molly, and Max <laughs> Kellerman. Do you want to sit listen, in their section? Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. I sit next to Chi Chi, get the yayo. As long as you okay. Oh, we okay. got to find Chi Chi yeah, now. As long as you're okay, you're having a good time, I'm there to celebrate hey, your yo, night. Yo, Primo, don't be hanging out with Chi Chi, get the yayo. Baby, go be in B. Baby, go be B. Check us, check us out next week. I don't know if this is some shit. I don't know if this is making this up.